Hey guys, I'm Shark, and in today's video, we will be doing the Ultimate Advanced Yasuo Guide for Season 13, where we'll be going over everything from the best combos to win lane and stomp team fights, summoner st spell option, build option, rune options, how to perfectly play the early, mid, and late game, and what to look for, a dedicated low elo section, how to translate your leads, a range lane matchup guide. And we'll be covering how to win all the matchups at the end. So yeah, this guide basically covers everything. Whatever goal you may want, whether that's gold, platinum, diamond, and beyond. By the end of this, you'll have the knowledge to snowball your games out of control. And you'll be learning from a challenger level. So like usual guys, if you find it helpful or enjoy, make sure to smash the like button. Comment for the algorithm and subscribe to see more like this in the future. Let's get into it. Alright y'all, we're going to be covering... <coughs> all of Yasuo's abilities and what they exactly do and pair that along with some really neat tips and tricks basically your passive you can't do much with it yeah you get a shield a wind bar on top of you that basically is called flow and the next attack you tank from a monster or enemy will activate that wind shield and uh how you stack it up is by moving there is no cooldown to it <clears throat> You have to move you have to keep moving so that way the wind bar right here stacks up to full and then when you go in again the shield gets procced <coughs> <coughs> on top of that basically your crit gets increased by 150 percent meaning if you get 20 crit you will have 50 crit and um it does reduce damage obviously 10 percent reduced damage and if you're over 100 percent crit you will <clears throat> gain extra adaptive force bonus ad all right so onto your q your first q is just a jab this is the ability you max first you q once and then when you q twice it gives you a charge up q and when you q the third time you send a straight projectile that knocks up enemies in that direction that get hit so it's one, two, and three. You can probably pair that up in lane. Let's say they're standing all the way back here. You hit the minion once, Q the minion twice, E, and then you Q on top of the minion. Uh, Q on top of the, or Q on top of a minion trying to hit the enemy to then Q after. Or I'll show it later on, but you can pair that up when your enemy is close with an EQ, which guaranteed knocks them up. So. There's that. Your wind wall is pretty simple. Blocks projectiles. So basically, your W blocks projectiles. So any ability your enemy may throw at you, any monster camp, dragon, baron, anyone that has projectiles, uh, the wind wall will completely block. And you can really use it to just outplay enemies within trades. Get close to them, use your wind wall. Hit them behind your wind wall. And then... Uh, yeah, basically tank no damage, especially against these ranged uh, opponents. And, I mean, it just makes for a really good outplay tool. Your E, I mean, it's a simple dash, jab closer, that <clears throat> it, it deals magic damage. And then every time you use it, basically what it does is it grants you extra bonus damage. So, and after you E on one opponent, you have to wait six seconds before you can E again. But... As you can see, we have two charges of our E, which means we have bonus extra damage. Finally, our ult is after your, the enemy gets knocked up, you can R on top of that. Slashing on top of them, dealing a lot of AD damage, and it basically reduces their armor by 50%. So, yeah, even if they stack armor against Yasuo, it's really hard to do because he'll just cut it in half. You can hit him with like a EQ, and then you R. That's how you guarantee that you land your ultimate. If you don't want to toss out a long Q, which is really coin flippy. But I will co uh, cover more of the combos later on. EQ is just a really nice one. You can do e e EQ flash. Like that. And that's a really good uh, outplay combo to make sure it's a guaranteed knockup. Let's see if the Raptor camp's still up here. Well, basically, you can uh, eat outside of some walls. Eat outside of some walls. That's another tip and trick. 
like that you can eat outside of some walls so that way if someone's chasing you you can just eat the grump and run away like that but that's gonna be the ability section i'll catch you in the next section let's get into that all right y'all i want to cover the runes um basically lethal tempos literally the go-to i don't think there's a single other uh rune that even comes close to how strong lethal tempo can be because as we all know lethal tempo grants you that extra attack speed and range but it's mainly because of the attack speed um yeah lowers your cooldowns a lot and literally turns you into 1v9 mode if you stack it up in the early game like i don't know how else to tell you press the attack conquer they just get outmatched by lethal tempo triumphed probably yeah it is the solid like strongest i mean overheal that's more like a bot lane thing if any but um triumphed is the game changer between you living or dying against the enemy's ignite or just living in team fights with the amount <clears throat> of opponents you know that will die and then you'll get an assist on or kill and then you'll get the healing from it's just really good and then it also grants the additional 20 gold so i mean it's also nice on top of that the variation you can make a clarity is really standard it grants you extra attack speed based off of uh what's called unique takedown you can take tenacity into comps that are really heavy on the CC and you need this to just survive. Like, let's say they got Lysandra mid or Galio mid with like a Braum support. Blitzcrank. Uh, not, not, not Blitzcrank. Uh, who's Leona support. <clears throat> and then their junglers like a Sejuani. Tenacity definitely is needed. And then bloodlines just overkill the lifesteal you don't really get much value because you're going to be building blade of the rune king or immortal shield bow on yasuo so the clarity is 90 percent of the games though 90 if not 100 percent it just helps you the most in popping off with the attack speed cope to grace i mean if you're smurfing sure this will be better than last stand but last stand provides so much value because yasuo how usually fights work is he gets bursted down his immortal shield bow gets popped and then he stacks lethal temple by the time his immortal shield bow gets popped at low hps and then the last stand grants him a lot of bonus extra damage so that way like he can turn fights really easily especially with his ultimate cut down only for top lane really there might be variations like playing against swain i don't know that's all the first champ that's the only champ that comes to mind swain that maybe cut down is better than last stand last stand i just take it every game if i'm being honest it's just the best thing as for secondary tree the only one you really should take note of is resolve and some variations you can run is going to be second win against the mages bone plating against the assassins that burst you and then nah second win bone plating that's the go-to mages versus assassins or bruisers those that's basically how you do the switch revelize not bad grants you extra healing and shielding which is solid especially the later down the line you go um like in the game where you actually have a lot of healing from a mortal shield bone such unflinch is really good like it gives you five percent tenacity and slow resist so i mean it's like another version of tenacity in a way but Yep, there's that. And then Overgrowth is pretty solid. Grants you extra HP based off of uh, minions and monsters that die. And grants you like an extra, you know, 120 HP, which might be the difference between you living or dying. But these are really situational. I would say if you were to take every one every single game, Overgrowth, I mean, it's pretty solid. It just grants you HP or Revelize. These are like the much more like flex runes. Like, you could take them every game. They'll always provide you value. And then, Unflinch is more situational if they have a lot of CC and such. And then, Armor against AD, AD laners. And then, you take Magic Resist against the AP laners. All right, y'all. As for the the items. Starting item. I, I just If I were to keep it simple, especially if you're Platinum 2 under. D-Blade for AD uh, uh, melee, playing against melee laners. D-Shield versus the ranged mages that poke you out. I don't recommend longsword even though it can build into vamp up because you get so much value out of these two items that it's just is the best thing to go especially mid lane where i prioritize making this guide around because of the fact that 
the lane is short so you, you don't really need the potions to like have a super long laning phase early on because you're going to be recalling sooner or later and then later on trying to build towards your berserkers graves all right i'm just going to cover the most standard build 90 percent of the games if you're i'm being honest if you're diamond two under this should be like 95 percent of what you build because this gives you the most skill ability like you are the strongest scaler in the game at three items with this build berserkers graves immortal shield bow i.e death dance your berserkers graves with uh, immortal shield bow level one spike is really strong and uh love level uh the i.e second item kind of makes you a little bit squishy you're still strong when it comes to the damage uh department but when it comes to your tankiness it's terrible so which is why some people end up getting a little bit of their tier three item like let's say after you build a mortar shield bow you'll build no magic mantle or you'll build a cloth armor if they're like heavy ad and burst you there and then after you build that then you'll finish off the uh infinity edge some yasuls find it optimal to do that so that way they don't just get uh what's it called insta deleted but literally these three items go to um if they're heavy ap you can actually go with Sen <clears throat> instead instead of death dance third item or you can go spirit visage if you really think so that, <clears throat> that, that that's better <clears throat> and then after that i mean it really is situational these are like the most three standard items mortal reminder with sand ga um bloodthirster those are like the most standard items and yeah there's not much else to cover gawkeen slayer and gale force get outmatched pretty much every time unless you're top lane where you want to go karkeen slayer mortal shield bow is just the best as for the tank page um yeah it, it's it's one more for top lane this is like the five percent i'm talking more more specialized in mid lane so um if you want to go this tank page basically what it grants you is a lot of base damage and base tankiness that um <clears throat> you'll notice you don't get ie in this build you never get ie typically it grants you a lot of base damage which will make you stronger at the one on what one item spike two item spike and like half of the three item spike but after that it's all base damage so you better have a big big lead otherwise you just kind of fall off in a way and this champ's actually supposed to scale if you go crit and normal adc build it's uh you're you're literally a second adc for your team in a way but with this build you're more like a bruiser that kind of falls off in a way but um yeah blade of the rune king definitely is a strong one item spike some even go blade of the rune king into a mortal shield bow if they're more on the tankier side of things because it still gives you this build if you just go blade into a mortal and then ie it gives you the adc you know stats where you actually deal loads of damage like a marksman and you know your crits deal a lot but the blade of the rune king shreds the tanks and like if you're playing against swain vi j4 all these champs that are bruisers you know blade of the rune king rush isn't bad this is the situational or like the new build uh shock show another variation of iceborne basically grants you more armor and magic resist i'm assuming makes you more tanky can work it's just based off the meta and which item riot games decides to buff the most versus which one they decide to have weaker um new items ravenous hydra was really broken they did nerf down on it so i don't think any like random bruisers will go it anymore but i saw i believe it was like showmaker or someone they went immortal into ravenous if ravenous really is broken within the meta i say it can work but i think they nerfed it well enough to the point where now it's just not the item for yasuo for shojin don't really recommend uh skt zeka was me messing with around with it and um <clears throat> Yeah, it just it just doesn't um I don't think it's that good. Not good. I I, I don't recommend going it. Heart steel, it's gotten its changes, it's deeded and now it it's not for Yasuo anymore, so I mean that's just my opinion, but everyone can try out what they will and uh you know report in the comment section what you think about it. 
All right, y'all. As for summoner spells, um, yeah, ignite flash. Ninety. Yeah, I'd say literally because everyone's literally ninety-eight percent of the community is below platinum two and below. So that's like what I base this guide off of in a way, like to try to help the most. Anyways, so ignite flash ninety-five percent of games. I'm being honest. This is like even its counter pick lanes. You're gonna find moments where the junglers get into fights. You somehow find the ability to roam bot after shoving in a wave something chaotic will happen and the ignite and flash will just grant you the most offensiveness to just win that fight variations you can go is i don't really like teleport especially after the nerfs where you can't teleport to minions or monsters but you can do this into like hard lane matchups where you have no kill pressure and I mean, it will help you side lane and then TP to mid fights that happen in the mid to late game. But Ignite Flash, 95% of games. And then against assassins like maybe Fist, Talon, all these, all these champs, Exhaust and Flash actually can be better because you are a marksman in a way. And once you stack lethal tempo and you exhausted all the bursts they may have put on you, um, yeah, you just hard win. So. It actually might be better than ignite so that way they can't burst you down i don't like teleport i'd rather just take ignite flash or exhaust flash for the five percent of games and then um yeah that's about it all right y'all huge shout out to dev programmer for making this titles up there make sure you hit them with a like and a sub for them too uh yeah i just think they they did it best when it comes to covering the combos and i'm basically gonna describe on top of what they're showing what situations this may uh, go upon and where it might help you. So yeah, the Q flash combo, execution, easy mode, finish an enemy if you can't reach them with your E anymore. It's an animation cancel, easiest one in the game. And um, yeah, not, not, nothing more than that, right? Basic poke combo, E auto attack Q and then you can this is more of a laning thing, and you can E out to another minion. E auto attack Q, and then, you, yep, you E out. That's a basic, especially against melees or range. When they go for a minion, like, when, let's say that's the champion going for that cannon minion, boom, easy. Nice and easy combo, and, uh, yeah, it's really solid. Next combo is e through the wall. I kind of showed that, so I'm going to do a little skip. Actually, let's see where, where you can eat through. You can eat through Krugs. Yep, you can eat through Krugs. Eat through Raptors. This is what I was trying to do earlier. And then you can eat through Gromp. Yeah, also, I mean, he's not really a combo intensive champ. There, there's a couple of combos, but um, yeah, W E Q. So that way you get vision over the wall. All right, now we're getting into the juicy combos. Q Q W Q. Third Q animation cancel with your wind wall. A really helpful one. So that way, it's really it's harder for your enemies to react to your Q that is coming out. That one's a really good combo. Medium difficulty combo, but really helpful. You W, same time Q, simultaneously queuing. <clears throat> Unexpected targets. E, Q3, flash. Yes. This is all I was talking about earlier. You charge up your Q3, then you E, and you flash on top of whoever you want to flash on top of. So that way you can get the knock up. You can do this on an ADC and support in team fights, etc, etc. You really do got to master this combo down. And then the all in combo with your Q, with the, uh, your ultimate is going to be QQEQ flash auto attack R. QQ EQ flash auto attack one more time and then R on top. Guaranteed kill. <clears throat> Again, huge thanks to uh, Dev Programmer for making this really easy combo guidance. Really easy to understand. Make sure to check them out.
All right, y'all, welcome to the low elo section. Currently playing in like gold, gonna show you what you be needing to do to pop off in these type of games with Yasuo going over the basics. Those are the runes we took. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. Revelai, second win. Those are the rune stats playing against Ari. Like, literally, medium difficulty matchup. And yeah. Basically, yep. First couple levels, you just get shoved in. She can auto us if she wants. And then. It's going to be at the level 3 mark where we could start to go in. I she was going to try to charm me. She didn't try to charm me. She went E, so I might be able to all in here. Yep. Literally, get shoved in the first couple levels, all in at level 2. Like, this is... <clears throat> buy the book stuff you can do this every single game against these ranged laners even if she flashed like later we still would have got her we have flash so I'm just going to base in this bush. She's not going to cancel the recall. She just minions to go to. Aw. Alright, I got to wait. Wait for the second dagger. And then now we're going to freeze the wave. She should be hard pushing. Fast pushing. <clears throat> uh, actually, yeah, we can't freeze this yet. We have lethal tempo giving us that range. Should have just walked to tower. I wouldn't be, be able to kill her. She just walked to tower. Gotta be limit testing on this Yasuo champ. It's not even five minutes, but I'm still gonna take the tire plating while it still has its armor. <clears throat> Now we will have our Berserker's Graves. <clears throat> Don't crash. It doesn't crash. But I think it will crash if she just commits to that wave. <clears throat> I always, always make sure you win wall the, the charm if possible. Come on, let me freeze, let me freeze.
I messed up my wind wall, but mm, still worked. We'll take it. Just like we'll take one more tower plating before we base. Boom, boom. Get the new Quiver. Hmm. I smell peculiar. It's kind of nuts. Alright, I'm just going to shove this in before I roam. To make sure I don't fall behind on the, the minions. Now we can fight. Always want to shove in the waves before you roam. Always, always, always. We're going to stay. We do a little trolling. All right. Take notes. We do a little trolling. <clears throat> I think I might need to take my weekly shower early. It does not smell good. It does not smell good. Okay. All right, we got a mortar shield bow. It's a huge spike. <clears throat> Ari has ult, so it's actually going to be kind of hard to kill her. <clears throat> With the amount of mobility she has. <clears throat> but. No, I couldn't R. You're so lucky. There we go. We got his red buff too, so I'll be at his blue. I don't think I don't think I should be uh, focusing the Ari anymore. I should be trying to focus the Singe. Yep, yep, yep. On to the blue buff we go. Because this is his key buff. This is what he needs. Huh? How is he not going to go to his blue first? I want to get my charge. I'll, I'll miss a wave mid or two. He needs to go here. Now we can go top. And literally, you just got to control the game. When you get that lead mid, you can't just stay mid all game. 
is the EQ auto attack combo. Do not be fooled. So basically what I'm saying. <clears throat> Is yeah, you just don't stay mid all game, especially when you get that lead. All right, Master, you're just getting your pings muted. We do a bit of side landing. <laughs> Bruh. Do not play these games with me, Quinn. <laughs> We're playing Yas Yasuo. Why can't Yasuo get locked out of his house? Because he has a key. Alright. <clears throat> I'll go back. I actually... <coughs> yeah, I think I should be mid so that way I can go dragon. Really? Turret plating will fall soon. I have life still, so I mean I don't need to recall. There we go, and we get the tower plating. You always gotta make sure you pop off with the wind wall. There we go. No, I missed the Q. I missed the Q. Oh my. I think this build is better to go BT for the shields. Or this game. <clears throat> they got a lot of mixed damage with AD and AP. If I landed the Q, I might have been able to kill the Cinch, get to Triumph, and then get the Ezreal. That was possible. <clears throat>
people keep running into my way. I think I should just side lane. Alright, there's three people bought. At least we get tower mid. Ho 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 ho. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I misplayed. But either way, I think we should be, uh. Oh, we should be good. Take drag. No, no, we're going to take Batar and then um, recall for BT and then one B five. Inshallah. That is how we play. <laughs> what else? Oh, they forfeit. All right, that's the loyal section. Catch you in the next section. I'm out. Victory. All right, y'all. Welcome to the range matchup <clears throat> counter guide playing against Malzahar, one of our worst counters. In a, in a, well, I wouldn't say worst, worst, but pretty bad. Those are the runes we took. And yeah, I'm going to show you how to pop off against this so called champion. Ideally, even like. You want to hold the wave like near your tower, just generally speaking. So that way, you have room to trade on them when you hit level three slash level four and then you could try to all in them with your uh try to all in them with your <clears throat> your lethal tempo fully stacked and so on oh we missed i gotta start thinning out this wave oh 
I messed up. <clears throat> it's not bad. If I landed that one Q, I think it would have been a kill. Wow, how the level up. If I landed that one Q. Hit him with the <clears throat> E flash combo. That's why like Yasuo is so mechanically intensive. If you miss the one Q, you miss out on like everything. All your damage. You're done. Until I I mean, if you're in like the lower lower ranks. What happens is regardless, you still outscale them. With your items and you still win even if you're 0 10 you just have to build two items but generally speaking you don't have a lot of room for error on this champ <clears throat> but level six is where it gets hard sarah find uh cena combo <coughs> it's a new season so everyone's picking out their new picks middle top i think actually can work <clears throat> <laughs> we have to freeze the wave. <clears throat> Yasuo, if you get the, the wave in this spot, it's actually really good. Man, this lane really is a pain. I'm still freezing the wave, though. Oh, Cena Rome. Gotta love it. <clears throat> Bro, I literally have boots on top of him. This game's such a scam. This game's a scam. I think I'm gonna get ganked. I have ignite. I think I, I, I. It's probably best if I just go one for one here. It's best if I just go one for one. All right. It's not even one for one. Ah, oh, so that way he would lose the cannon under tower. <clears throat> but <clears throat> at this point, I don't even think I can look for kill pressure. There's too much. Um, There's just way too much fear of getting ganked by their jungler and support. <clears throat> so it's best if I just uh, shove and roam or like try to do something of the sorts. <coughs> no one is promised tomorrow. Just like literally leave. Play towards my jungler. <clears throat> hmm? Bro. Knew it. Oh, uh huh.
He's trying to get ganked. Which is why I'm even scared to step up halfway. Bro, Kaisa. <laughs> nah, it's whatever. This noob took my kill. It's okay. But notice how, like, I, I mean, like, I'm still trying to fight the mouse if he lets us. But it's okay. That's fine. We'll, we'll tank the E damage. It's like, we're trying to just shove. We can tank half a wave, a wave in a tower plating. We want to make impact on the map. That's how you play against, like, these harder control mage matchups. Or one of the ways you can. You can actually win this if it's 1v1, but I know I'm going to get ganked. So, like, I just don't even bother. <clears throat> okay, Poppy's top lane. We can probably go drag. Better get the crit. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. All right, bot lane, good stuff. I lose one minion's worth of XP, <clears throat> two minions worth of gold. It's not bad for the recall I took. Oh, I can't. I can't even step up. I can't even step up right now. I think Poppy's at, um... Probably at, uh... I think at Rift. I shouldn't... I just want to see if she's low. No. Okay. Probably recalled then. Oh, there she is. Now I can play aggressive. Or at least just not like... I don't have to play so scared. Nah. Kane is going blue form too, so. I'm not gonna roam top. Bro. Huh? No. I wasn't even tanking tower, man. I literally stepped out. This fucking dog shit ass company, man. Riot Games. No wonder why your game's dead. Dying game. Jesus. So trash. Oh my god. So trash garbage. Ah! Oh! Virtue is no more than a luxury. An enemy has been slain.
I don't really lose anything mid. Maybe a, like, yeah, one minion, but... Yes, please go top. Cho'Gath's... I mean, he's 1 in 4, so... It doesn't really matter. I, I get a lot here. But the only bad part is that Malzar locks me down in team fights. Okay. I can't fight him. He has uh, Leandris. Yeah, we just got a recall here. Oh. Right here. All right. The only knock up we have is Cho'Gath, but. We will see. Oh, unlucky. Bot lane's pretty strong though, so. Looks like we can 3v3 this. Even if it's a 3v4, it's doable. It's doable. Oh, there's a flash. We'll take it. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. Even if Miles was here, he wouldn't even do anything. Because he had no R. So it's worth either way. Yep, yep, yep. I will follow this path until the end. I have no R. That's a terrible fight. Unless, can I take this tower? I can't. Oh, no way that still hit me. All right, that was kind of greed. Well, at least we, uh, yeah, still have enough for uh, BF sword here. I'm just trying to help. <coughs> mid lane goes bot, ball lane goes mid. Well played. He also is R. <coughs> Deletes 50% of the armor. So that's really the only reason why we were able to win that. Or win without... Uh, Having to burn anything. She's, she's just gonna stack armor.
very well played. Oh my. You really have to... Uh, I mean, okay, we'll take it. It's on a two-minute cooldown. So I'll say it's worth. We just gotta back away before they try to... Uh... Hmm. All right. Looks like they didn't want to collapse on us. So we can get enough for IE. <coughs> hmm. Oh, uh, I think Wit Sand's actually pretty huge here. <clears throat> uh, I, I think Spirit Visage better. I like the tankiness. I think that's going to be mean more than the extra attack speed from Wit Sand. And Spirit Visage got reworked, I believe. I just gotta make sure no one is. Alright, looks like no one wants to come bot. That's fine. Dragons are win condition, anyways. It's not even Rift. <laughs> Your team has destroyed a turret. Honor is in the heart, not the name. I want to actually. <clears throat> I'm dead. <clears throat> am I? If I get caught with R, I am dead. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's Choga TP. <coughs> Q him. Get him. Um. Yeah, I couldn't move. Yeah, that is, uh. Annoying. <clears throat> that is actually <clears throat> really annoying. Mouse Seraphine. I don't even care about the Cena or whatever. I'll probably get GA later on, but it's dumb. And I just can't. If I'm frontline, it just it won't work. I'm about to freeze this. No one is promised. I'm about to freeze this. That way, Malzahar loses. Uh, it's not even freezing. It's like <clears throat> temporarily freezing. So that way Malzahar loses out on a little bit. 
Uh, okay, after this cannon, I have to shove. So it looks like they're gonna fight. Just look at them. Well, let me think, let me think. Do we win 5v5? Fiddle? No. I win this. Ignite diff. No way I lose the cannon. Serious right now. Oh my. I think a Cena might be here. Oh, Seraphine? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I'm actually after this, uh... This Malzahar. I don't even care about the Seraphine. We have to get the shutdown. No, no, you take every kill, man. Ah, oh, you're making me look bad. I try to show you how to pop off against champs like Malzahar, and this Kaisa keeps taking my kills. Nah, that's nah, okay. It's okay, though. It's all right. It's only banter, you know? A little banter. That's all. I don't really mean it. <clears throat> Surely not. And then now we build. Probably just Death Dance. Yeah, Death Dance IE. This story is not yet finished. And then we can go Baron. Let's say we just go barren. Like, the only person that can really stop us. Alright, this is bad. It's gonna be Fiddlesticks, but he's not even showing up. Yep. Look at that. My call just won us the game. You're welcome, team. I gotta be careful about Fiddle. Huh? Yo! I'm split pushing all game. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's like their win condition is fiddle engaging. I knew it. Hmm. That is annoying. It's okay though. Because they literally focus the tank in a way. I'm a tank bruiser. They lose the game. Enjoy. Absolute loser dogs. Good job. Nice job, Malzahar. You ulted me. Guess what? Kaisa just destroyed your team. Enjoy. Just terrible. Garbage. Kaisa, oh my god, you get on my nerves. Literally taking every single one of my lanes. Oh, your wave, right? Jesus. I'm taking your red, bro. Oh my god. If I don't take my if I don't take your red, I'm oh okay, it's Kane. Literally taking everything. Bro, if I if I see one comment, Sharky, 
You're you're so me. You can go fuck yourself. I dare you. I dare you. Comment that, and I will heart that comment. Char, do not be so mean. Oh my. That will make me laugh so hard. If I see, I will see that comment. That's the funny part. I always see that comment. Go on, comment that. This guy. They always started with this guy. This guy's pretty. Mean this guy's pretty toxic. I'm not toxic. Have, have you seen me type one thing this game? No So shut your mouth and no one wants to hear your comments It's not important. No one acknowledges it You're talking to a wall It's okay, you're used to it. You've been doing that since you were five years old That's right I want you to comment that. Go on. This guy's toxic. Every time. Alright, let's end this game. I don't know if Malzahar has R. I still take it. That's all I really want. I don't even care. Oh. Can I use my abilities? I don't care. We took top tower. It's worse. <clears throat> Mixing up my words. We took bot inhib. Easy. Now we just go top. Do the same thing there. Team goes mid, we end the game. And I'm out of here. Enjoy. Me being the best team player on the planet. Jesus. Oh man, I don't have enough for death dance. That's an easy pick. Yep. I mean, it, I think it's fine. Do they even win that? That's crazy. Kane's still level 15, so I don't even think they win that. <gasps> Perfect CC chain? Oh. Come on. That's unlucky. I don't even know. It might be the Kane's build. Can you Q? Nice. Our team got aced mid, so that's not good. But they have no Malzahar. Now, l l let's keep pushing top. Because they have to go bot. Surely. Yep. Poppy's bot. We just dive it. Oh man. You you have to tank. He's not gonna kill me. I cannot move. No, I thought the I thought the Q would have landed. Alright, Cho'Gath MVP. Noobs. Oh, Jesus. Their comp is so anti Yasuo. <clears throat> it's kind of nuts. <clears throat> it's all good, though. I scale with items, so. At this point, I should be 1v9 mode. We take both. The wanderer isn't always lost. Oh, 
I will literally solo it. Because look, I took bot inhib, which gives us a free top lane. Oh no. We're getting ulted on. We're getting ulted on. It's not so free. No. Ah! Fifty percent of of oh my god! Look at that! Oh no, I'm dead. But oh, I thought they had vision on it. I thought we would have won the fight. Guess not. Oh, really? We just lost the fight like that? That's my bad, I guess. I went in too deep. Alright, we got one tower. I gotta get that in him again. Nah, I won't get deep. I'll just I'll hold off on the elixir. Nice, Kaisa! Wall played. Oh. I'm still going Baron. Good job. Because by the time I'm mid, they're all going to be mid, and then they're just going to keep clearing the wave, so we're just taking Baron. Call. Gotta sync the stuff with the team. I'm taking red. What does Cloud uh, Chem Tank Soul even give? 50%. Oh, okay. More damage when you're lower HPs. Alright. At this point, yeah, we can have. I think the Cho'Gath being mid is actually really important. Malzar falls off now. Yep, these we have Spear Visage. <coughs> so. Like, he's not going to burst us. I don't know how else to tell you. He's not going to burst us. <clears throat> and even our auto attacks just do more than his abilities. Dominating. Now I can type this guy. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. <laughs> There we go. All right, GG. You know what? We'll keep you in this game. How you like that? Give me those 10 kills. <clears throat> All right, y'all. It's going to be the range section. Catch you in the next vid or whatever. It's full build. Yeah, keep them in this game. <laughs> nah, Cho'Gat's gonna walk up. Cho'Gat's gonna walk up, slam two autos, and it's over.
I made it. All right, y'all. As for the tier list for Yasuo, I mean, it really is up for everyone's interpretation, especially when it comes to what rank each people are at. Let me think. Yeah, it really does. It comes down to it because the lower the rank you are, typically, Annie and Malzahar will be higher on the list. The higher the rank you are, typically, it'll be lower. Reason being is jungle impact really does matter. If you're pairing Yasuo up with Elise Sin, an Elise, etc., etc., J4, they can't do exactly what they want to do, which is shove you in and burst you the way they want. At least that's the in the <clears throat> in the sense of Annie. Malzahar is more of just lockdown, so no matter how fed you are, if you're 4-0, Malzahar presses R, you get focused, you die, you still are going to end up going 4-12, so. Yep, that's that. Honestly, I'd put it slightly unfavorable, depending on which jungler you have, but yeah, <coughs> Vladimir just spams Q at you. If he opts to go for more of the uh, aggressive pages, Electrocute's no longer like super meta, but you know what I'm saying. The more aggressive 1v1 pages. He also can't do anything. He gets shoved under tower and Vlad spams Q's at him. The only way to win this lane is going to be jungle help, of course. But again, Yasuo doesn't have the best setup, which is why jungle help to a Yasuo isn't uh, as, as easy as everyone thinks. Just get help from your jungler. Yasuo has no CC. And he... <coughs> yeah, he just can't lock them down. The hardest lane matchup is, in my opinion, it's Vex Pantheon. Reason being, Vex just spams you with auto attacks, and when you try to go in, her empowered bar with her W, she lets you off, she EQs you, and that's that. <clears throat> Counter to this is she has no mobility, and if you can get ganked, <coughs> it's pretty much a guaranteed kill. <coughs> pretty much a guaranteed kill. <laughs> Pantheon stat checks you completely. Long trades, he wins with his Conquer and the fact that he can get two rotations of his empowered spell. Short trades, he wins because he has his E to negate your big Q3 damage. And uh, yeah, I mean, literally, this lane, a good Lucian, I mean, a good Pantheon, a good Vex, he also really struggles against. Honestly, I'd make Vex slight, I'd say hard. If in the higher ranks, because I, again, if you have a jungler that can play off you, she can't play as aggressive as she wants to, because she literally has no mobility. But I mean, hey, to each their own. Um. Anyways, on to slightly unfavorable. Anyone I want to mention, Lissandra's more like Malzahar in a way. Literally, even if you're ten and zero, uh, whatever, 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 Lissandra will lock. <laughs> you also down making him not do anything so 1v1 you actually might be able to win but 2v2s in team fights it's gonna be really hard to lux is more even why did i put that there heimerdinger is a pain shoves you in but if you can get, if you get a gank jungler it is semi-favorable yon tends to have yeah does have the upper hand in the laning phase he also has a better i want to say pre-6 yon has a better post six and the more items each of the characters get yon becomes more stronger than yasuo and just is more versatile in what yon is capable of doing comparatively to yasuo ari uh no this is more even why is that there yep action slightly unfavorable lane bully you know how it goes kiana in the higher ranks can actually be hard Lower ranks you go, you might even find favorable. If you're literally under the rank of gold two, gold three, gold two, might actually be favorable because Kiana players just mess up. I don't know how else to explain it. They just mess up in front of you and it's really easy to get a kill on them and then build a mortal shield bow afterwards so they can't burst you. Um, Gragas is annoying. Tanks counter Gragas. He also is a bruiser, so he kind of gets like destroyed 1v1 but um <laughs> Vagar kind of just 
same situation with Liss and Mouse has locked down for you. But I mean, slightly unfavorable, I would say, to even, close to even lane matchup. Um, <laughs> Syndra, annoying. It's like the higher the rank you are, the more you'll realize that it's slightly unfavorable 1v1 if they know how to perfectly space you and perfectly manage the waves or just have a general idea of it. In like the lower ranks, it actually might be e even or favorable because they don't know how to position correctly and you're really able to catch them off guard and like W their QE combo, etc, etc. And boom, like you win. <clears throat> yep, Diana. Kind of, it's like a stat checker. Honestly, I'd say hard in a way. Yeah, I'd say hard. Stat checks you. Uh, t -t 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 even lane matchups. Fizz is an even lane matchup. Reason being is sure, especially pre six. He has kill pressure on you. You can outplay him at all points of the game, even if he's one v one and zero. You can win wall his shark, e his e. You know, e his q. I'm being honest. A good. It's like it literally depends on your skill level. And um, you outscale him. So regardless if he's 4 or no, as soon as you build a mortar shield bow, you really, especially in the side lane, should be able to solo kill him. As long as you dodge his E or R. Just dodge one of them so he can't one-shot burst you and boom. Even if you let, even, <clears throat> even if he lands everything, you actually still hold the chance to uh, fight him back, which is actually insane. Talon, uh, even lane matchup W his W. And he can't get his passive auto off. Little blanks even. Katarina is even. Reason being is 1v1 you can actually win. But Katarina doesn't really win the game through a winning lane. It's through roaming. So if you, your main goal should be to stop her from roaming. And uh, going to her jungler to assist her. So yeah. The goal should be to try to like push her in. And just stop her plan. Galio is even. 1v1 actually can be favorable because Galio pushes and you could just all in him down the long lane but with jungler help because J Galio is really good against junk with aggressive junglers even lane matchup Seraphine mm, she pretty much farms you're good I, I, I want to explain like the common ones Silas you just have to find him at moments where you can get him close to your tower so that way you can chase him down the long lane to all in him with your lethal tempo where you win and then try to dodge his E2. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I mean, that's about it. This is more even. <clears throat> yep. Ah, yeah, that's about it. These favorable lanes. You just stat check Echo completely. Um, let's say Soul's even. <laughs> it's up to your interpretation, but he also stat checks Echo really easily and can W Echo's Q. And like these are just farm oriented. Oh wait, no, this is like, this is uh, slightly unfavorable. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, I should have uh, pre-done it before then. Yep, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Being honest. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. It's gonna be. Joshua Guide Season 13, How to Play.